Oh, hey y'all, so I'm running over to pick up my new trailer. Yeah, see how broke I am? I got 320 bucks in my name. I am hurt. I need to sell some grain, but don't have time for that because it's time for soybean harvest. Let's get to it. All right, so we're pulling up here on the dealership. We're gonna pick up a Thunder trailer. Thunder. So we're gonna pick this up because we need to fill up these hungry combines. So I got our Thunder trailer hooked up. It's not as nice as somebody's I know, but it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna get it over and get it filled up. That should empty out the pocketbook again, but we'll get it over here to Casey's. Fill this uh, trailer up, see how much we're gonna be uh, out of. See how long that takes to fill up. We're gonna go get some donuts. Had to put this on my card because I'm pretty broke. Man, there is no one at the gas station, that's weird. Definitely a little weird. Do they all know something I don't? I don't know. Maybe it's harvest season and everyone's busy. Just look at that beautiful grill. Mm, so nice and pretty. Woo! Over $2,000 in gas prices there. All right, so let's get this back over to the combines and hopefully this trailer will last us uh, all through harvest. Racing down here. It's like squad never did get to plant that field over there. I wonder why, is he busy at his dealership? Racing down, oh, looks like we got a giant chopper in the way. Don't wanna go that way. We'll skirt on the outside of this field here. Go down to edge here. Looks like Buck has a lot of harvesting to do over here. All right, there's all, that's our team up here. So we will get these combines all greased up and filled up. Uh, Optimus spine won't take long to change over to beans. Uh, beast spine will take a little bit longer. Gotta change some sieves and stuff, but. All right, get this thing, start filling these up. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to air up one of the tires on uh, beast spine there. So I'll get old air compressor over here. Good thing is we got our uh, pair truck right here. Drive this over here. There we go. Fill this up. Air up that tire quickly. All right, so we're gonna change this uh, combine over here quickly. Just a few settings. Optimus bind is basically done by everything in the cab. That thing is nice. All right. So that is all changed. Our header is good to go. We just got to unfold it. Got to make some changes in the cab here. A few changes. All right, so B-spine's ready. So I know it's hard on the combine axles pulling these headers like this, but we're not going far. Uh, out in this spine, we're just going to pull that with the repair truck here. So that should be all right. And we will get all these on the road. All right, we got our big team of everyone ready. So we are pulling up the rear here with the thunder. We got J&M grain cart looking pretty patriotic. We got the beast spine pulling the header. I know we beeped up that rear end, so don't worry about that thing. 
We got Optimus Bine. It's we aren't gonna hurt our new combine here, being it's a demo. We got that ready, and we got the service truck on a 45-foot draper head. So now we need to get over to our bean field. Look at that crew. Such a handsome looking crew that is. So let's get over there. So I had to go pick up a part, so I'm kind of late to the party here. We're going to cut across our grass field on the back side of our uh, dealership. So this is our first bean field we have coming up here. A nice sunny day here. Good for bean harvest. Gotta get this stuff uh, combine before it gets too dry. Looks like uh, most of uh, the combines are getting ready, so I need to pull this over here by bee spine because we haven't filled bee spine up yet with fuel. And we need to get started. Alright, we'll fill that up with fuel gonna get Optimus Bind set up and the head calibrated here. Alright, Optimus Bind is set up. Beast Bind is filled up now. Drive up a little bit. Connect to the header. Here we go. Hold the header up. And uh, we'll calibrate it here quickly. All right. Looks like we are ready to go. We'll start out with uh, Optimus Bind here. Put the head down. Hopefully these beans are yielding good. Whew. Yep, we're yielding about 90 bushels per acre here. That's some good yield right there. go. That little weird strip of uh, planted crop there. Yep, about 94 bushels per acre, so that will be a good yield for us. I think I'm gonna leave in a little bit there. Don't want to leave anything. So we these soybeans are just full of pods. I mean, just look out there. Pods galora. They're so thick that I can barely see if I'm going to hit a rock or not. So hopefully, cross your fingers, we don't get a brick down here. Time for us to get Beast Spine running over here. Go over here and start on the corner. Get one pass around this field. Should be enough. We got a, enough room to turn around on the edges. Definitely made sure I stayed far away from the trees so we don't have a expensive header fix this year. Don't want something like that. Especially in bean harvest is as low as we are going Keep far away from uh, the Branches and limbs and all that because these combines are expensive Even beast vine would have a hard time with uh, a giant branch going through its rotor Heard it's pretty good with uh, GoPros though kind of odd. It's odd somebody would try that too. Kind of interesting though. Right over there, them are the culprits for the down tree that we ran into our uh, header. Don't want to do that again, that's for sure. That's why I uh, put grass over there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to mow this year. 
just uh, fell asleep one day. It was the beginning of summer and woke up. It was the beginning of autumn or fall. Don't know how that happens. Need to make sure I'm getting far enough over. Don't want to leave anything in the field. These beans are expensive. So we're getting about... It's pretty good average for this uh, area here. It's not no state record like our uh, barley or wheat was, but we're getting about 90, 92 bushels per acre. So I guess that's kind of a way above average. So I think the average in Iowa is about maybe 60 for soybeans. The plan is I'm going, we're going to have these combines working on opposite little strips together here. Divided by in the middle here. Alright, got them unloaded. So we'll start this uh, combine running on the other side of this. B-spine looks like it's going around. We'll get Cousin started on back into this again and we'll run the grain cart. All right, we're gonna head over there and catch uh, beast buying quickly. Good thing is we're doing soybeans, so we don't have to worry about filling up often. Look at both of them combines working in the field. Man, that's a lot of production right there. All right, beast buying is unloaded. Man, look at both of them combines running there. Ooh, that's just beautiful can't believe it's only four swaths and that's almost a fourth of the field right there already it's just crazy it's a lot of production oh shoot I gotta go get the auger ready oh man I'm gonna have to rush back over here go get my uh, truck here quickly I gotta go get the auger ready so it's ready to uh unload into the grain bins. I completely forgot about that. These grain bins, these uh, trucks won't take long to uh, fill up. They will need somewhere to dump. Alright, we'll run over there with uh, our old uh, repair truck here. Get it going here. over this big old mound. I'm gonna have to get a hardened path somewhere around here so it's easier uh, driving in and out of our fields here. Alright, so we are gonna head over here. The grain bins are right over there on the other side of our old dealership. Gotta get the auger set up. We did empty out that grain bin there so grain bin we did have weed in last year all year long now can uh, plan on putting soybeans in that one and uh, corn another all right so we will get over here start up our other international here all right raise up this auger looks like we gotta align it a little slightly here Go back it up a little bit farther. A little bit farther. There, that should be good. Alright, so now we got to adjust that down slightly. There we go. I think that is good. Auger set up. It's not the most advantageous spot. We kind of have to back the semi in to unload it, but it should work. Probably should have thought of a better place to put these, but oh well. All right, we'll shut that off for now and run back to our uh, combines in the field. Oops, got to back up. Back her up. All right, let's get this over there and hurry and catch our combines if they're they're probably already full. Oh uh, yep, 
already stopped in the field, so we gotta run our grain cart over there. Racing across this grass field. Hopefully we don't hit a gopher hole, right? Don't wanna hit one of them. Go airborne. Alright, park this over here by the trees so we don't accidentally hit it. Jump in our 8400 here. Start this old girl up. Start catching some uh, binds over here. Man, I... I caught up, so I... That was almost perfect. I guess both of them are still running. Looks like Op that's buying over here, he's... They're definitely full, so I'll come and unload it really quickly here. There we go, unloading. Beautiful, nice Op that's buying for the 8250. We got three case combines, or really two case and one international. International Harvester. So our uh, international, basically the unload auger isn't working properly. That's why you don't see it in the field here. It's unfortunate, that's for sure. It's not going to take long for these combines to get done with this field. Basically, it's going to take longer for them to us to move them all than basically knock out this field that's the sad part about all of it man you would think this new combine would unload quicker but it really isn't unloading that quick all right we'll go unload a uh, beast spine over here looks like it is full right now So we got to unload this quickly because I don't think we could probably unload either combine very much at least fully. I think this will fill up all the red top truck over here. Alright, looks like we didn't catch up to uh, Optimus Bind yet before he, he got full. Run over here quickly and unfill him. Yep, and looks like Beast Spine is full now. The only thing I can think of when you got soybeans is when the combines are full, it's cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Money in the bank. We got another almost full grain cart. Running out of semi now. I'm going to have to go... Uh, unload red top there into our grain bins there quickly so we can unload this don't know if I'll put it into the small uh, 
I don't know if I'll fill, fill up the Welker's truck there or not. So I might just uh, hold that for the next field. Start this old truck up, get the air pressure, and start heading over to the bins. All right, let the air pressure build up because we are overweight. Man, look at that. 1,700 bushels. Good thing is we just have a little ways to go and I haven't seen the, the DOT around here lately so I know there's a crazy DOT driver named Buck that would get us. Alright, so let's start headed over to our bin. I figure I'll just take it slow and drive on the grass. If you're overloaded, uh, I don't know. I mean, if you're on your land, I don't think they can pull you over, right? At least it uh, feels better. Doesn't feel illegal to me. But we will uh, have to drive a little ways on the hardened path here. Not far, though. Look, there's antique tractors around here. Hmm. Driving by our old sad lot there. And by the way, Austin's truck is still over there. I don't know if he'll ever come and get that truck. Don't ever invite Austin over. He'll leave his truck over at your place all the time. All right, so we have to back this old girl up over there to the auger. Ooh, there we go. Try backing this old girl up. That grain trailer is heavy for some reason. It's almost like somebody overloaded it. I don't think that was me. I think that was... Uh, uh, grain cart driver, that's whose fault it always is. Alright, so now we are unloading soybeans out of our back hopper over there. Into our bin. Luckily, these soybeans don't need dried. So we can leave these into our bin. Alright, now we got them out of our front hopper here. Looks like driving through all the grass kind of wore off some of the paint off my beautiful truck. Can't have that. Gotta get this thing repaired. Alright, we are unloaded, so we will shut off the tractor here. Alright, it's time to get back and get this thing full again. We are empty, so we can take mostly out of the highway now. Don't have to wear off the paint off the old girl here. Man, I just can't believe how quickly that field went down. That was a quick field of harvest. That's for sure. We've got to move our uh, combines over to our last field of soybeans. And man, that's two crops down in just a few days. That's freaking some type of record around here. I remember somebody yelled at me once because I uh, use I fill the truck on the the tarp side. If you can see, what does it matter? I used to run grain cart a lot, and it didn't really bother me which side I filled up on, unfilled on. Oh well, everyone to their own though. That's what you like doing. Keep at it. Looks like the hired helper forgot a little strip here. Bad. Shame. So we'll finish this off. I hope I don't get this thing uh, overloaded. We are above 75%, so that's why you see the flashers running. That's what we have the flashers on, 75%. Tells the uh, grain car operator that uh, we are close to getting over full. Are we gonna make it across the field? I didn't think this thing uh, went this far, but 
can't really tell by the end of the field. That just means more money in the pocket though. So this field is harvested. Got to get some more soybean fields because soybean fields seem like they're easy to harvest and make a lot of money. We are full. As you can see right there, we are definitely full. Don't know, we'll empty this out into the semi and I think I'll just head this uh, combine right over and start harvesting over there by our uh, deer stand. It's a shame. I'm going to have to make sure there's uh, some soybeans fall out the back so them deer uh, still want to come around and eat them. Got in bee spine over here and got to just finish up this side of the field over here. Man. Making great time. Uh, what are we getting? Uh, about 90 bushels per acre over here. Looks like uh, we got about almost 11 hours of uh, work hours on here. That's odd. I think this thing would have a lot more. All right, we are done with this field now. First field of soybeans in the books. So we averaged over 90 bushels per acre on this field, so that's cha-ching. Definitely need it because we got a lot of bills to pay. Can't see anything over my reel right now. So I'm probably going to put the rest of this into the grain cart so this doesn't, we don't hurt this going, transporting it to the other field. And I think I might just leave the heads on these counts. So we're going to use this uh, parts truck or repair truck over here to block traffic with our other Dodge. And basically all the way down there past the church we'll have to block the street so we can get by because I am not folding up the headers. Don't really feel like calibrating them again. Oh well. Think we'll be alright though. So it looks like we couldn't fit it all into that uh, back truck. So I think I'm just going to leave it, put it all in the grain cart. Shouldn't be too bad on it. We just do this so we... It's not going to be too far of a distance to the other field. What I really like about that JM, J and M, you can really see easily when you're uh, filling it up. It's not hard whatsoever. Definitely with this uh, combine, you can easily see your unload auger right there. And this combine is just so much quieter than that uh, B spine over there. We are uh, going to start headed down here. Like I said, we are not going to fold up the headers here. Ooh, there is a bump right there. Beast Spine will be following us here. we running by our cornfield. So it looks like our cornfield is about ready to harvest too. So that's why we are in a rush. I'm trying to get the grain crops off so I can get to the corn got the wheat harvested we got the barley harvested we got one field of uh, soybeans now we got our smaller field of soybeans and uh, we are basically set what we got here we got uh, our dodge blocking us right over here so beast spine is following us right behind us so we will slowly get on the road here. Go around the antique tractor sign. Don't see many of them tricycles around here. Ooh, are we gonna make this? This is gonna be tight. Uh oh, uh oh. 
slow down. I'm going downhill. I couldn't slow down quick enough. So we're gonna go around these signs. We got our repair truck up there. We're gonna try not to hit any signs because we already run an overloaded trucks here. So we got a repair truck blocking traffic. Here we go. Now we'll head down here. We'll make sure B Spine made it, and uh, I'll probably uh, let the repair truck and the Dodge follow us up. Pair truck will block traffic ahead of us. Alright, so we're gonna race this down in front of everyone. So it, we're gonna block traffic way down here in front. Because we got more of a light bar here. They can see us from the distance. I think we're gonna probably go... We're gonna have to go around we might even harvest a little bit of uh, Jake's uh, grain here so we can get to our field. Only to get to our field are we gonna, is the reason why we're going to harvest uh, Jake's field. No other reason. We just got to get a nice path to our field. Don't worry, Jake. We're just going to harvest about a quarter of your field. All right, so now the traffic's blocked up there and B-Spine made it. We will start heading down here. Maybe we could just uh, harvest uh, Grant's field and uh, take all the profit. Nah, we won't do that. Or will we? So we got the truck parked up on the hill there so people can see them. Got an Optimus Bind over here. We are ready to harvest Jake's field. Only so we can get into our field, right? I'm just joking. We're not going to do that. Here's our field right here. We'll make sure uh, Beast Bind made it and we'll start harvesting. So this field is not very wide whatsoever. I do plan on leaving a little itty bitty strip over here in front of my uh, hunting spot. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some more luck and end up getting a uh, deer this winter. We will see. Yeah, I got a little hunting spot over here in the corner here. Pretty nice little area, I have to say. Uh, Jake really helped us out too. He's got some uh, soybeans over there, so we got uh, prime real estate for uh, some deer. So, I mean, that's about a hundred bucks we're gonna leave there. We're not gonna leave too much, but it's gonna be a really close shot. But so, almost got one pass around. I don't know what's taking Beast Bind so long to start up. They should start up running around and following us here soon. This is definitely one of the most scenic fields I have. I'm gonna drive right by our uh, grain cart here. So it looks like we are making 102 bushels per acre here, so that is better than 90, that's for sure. But, uh, Beast spine turn in front of us there. We'll clean up what he left off. Ooh, oh, close there. There we go. Start heading around over here. Head behind Beast spine Don't know why they left this big strip here. Before the grain cart driver gets it, we better get it in the combine. That guy's crazy. Try to beat B spine around over here. Not gonna take long for this field. Probably just gonna be uh, jumping all around each other. We got another little uh, patch here. Gotta tell the green card operator he gotta leave them so the deer see them. All 
right. We will head down over here. Grab this little patch. Like I said, we're going to keep that over there for the deer. So now we just have to harvest Jake's field and not tell him. Alright. Got to make sure our auger is folded up. Because we've got to go through these two trees here. Now we can unfold the auger and now we have to back up the grain cart here. And definitely should get a backup camera. Definitely need a backup camera here. Can't see anything beyond that grain cart. Everything's running good so far. Look at them beautiful machines. All in action. Well, looks like we're done for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.